Bueno, sure. If somebody comes, I, I will remove it actually. Oh, it's, yeah. it's fine. I, I, I still it's fine. have the hope somebody's ready to take it Right, that's true. You never know. And then I can move it. it. Hold the camera. If only it's in the So that you can just take it off here. Mm -hmm. And I just hold it. Okay. And you want to move the press on? Uh, no, it's already recording. Oh, yeah, so it's just, just hold it. Yeah. Hold it. So I'm scrolling. Mm -hmm. okay. concept of uh, we weren't I was kind of expecting but not this much but it's cool and we're here so we do these wisdom from health wisdom for uh, teachings that you don't usually get you know on different areas outside of being with practitioners holistic practitioners I often say you know when you go into uh, when you go home and even sometimes in social media you don't get a commercial on health and wellness. You don't get a commercial on proper balanced body or proper alignment or proper nutrition or yoga. There isn't commercials. You get a lot of bombardment sometimes of concepts of only the medical side, which is necessary, but there's a lot more to health than that. So that's why we do these classes. Uh, today we have the honor to have Chris Crawford here today, and it's someone who I was very uh, blessed to meet because the amount of knowledge that he has for not just the body, but an overall comprehensive awareness of what it really takes to express your full potential. Uh, I think he has all the tools necessary. He brought a lot of tools here today that I guess he's going to be using, which is really cool. Um, so I'm very happy to be able to allow this to uh, my patients and just the people who are subscribed to be able to uh, experience and learn more. But what's important is to not just take in and learn, but really take action. You know, if there's something that you really tuned into and you said, you know what, I, I, I'm gonna take action on that, then make sure to kind of give yourself permission to do that for yourself, because mm -hmm. uh, that's really how a change is made. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's bring down uh, Chris Crawford. Hey. Thank you. Thanks. 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 All right, thanks for having me, Dr. Juana. Um, all right, so I'm Chris. I'm a Czech practitioner, Soma therapist, Soma trainer, and a doula practitioner. And today I'm just going to talk about the pillars of optimal health. So we have movement, nutrition, hydration, mm -hmm. sleep, thinking, and just reaching out for your goals and dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, so you have the handouts that I gave you. We'll get to those a little later during the discussion. Mm -hmm. So you have one problem pattern diet questionnaire, which is like one part of the Czech system that I yeah, do use, and then also the four, four doctor readiness assessment that we'll, again, we'll get to as well, okay? Um, so first thing I want to talk about is when a new client comes in to see me. Okay, so first thing I do, everyone comes in and fills out their forms, their questionnaires, and I just get to know them, they get to know me as well. Mm -hmm. They come in, they come in for an initial assessment, mm -hmm. it'll be a, a movement assessment, a range of motion assessment, a spine assessment. So again, if you're going to see Dr. Amani, you're most likely coming to see him because you have some sort of issue with the spine. Yeah. Um, more importantly, like the cervical spine, <laughs> so the upper cervical spine or the neck region. Not in any body. Yeah. So that's part of that's part of what we assess. We also assess the abdominal wall, so abdominal wall functioning. Um, as an adult practitioner, we use adult postures to help create space along the spine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that that space that's created along the spine will help to get let fluid flow into the spine to help hydrate the, the disc, which will a lot again help to heighten the spine. So. Let's take, we can use this one for example. So here you have your spine. This is say this is a, a example of the lumbar spine. And today we'll actually I'll have you do a movement for the lumbar spine that feels good for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is an example of the spine. This is a segment, and in between you have your disc, right? It's a disc of the nucleus, mm -hmm. right? So let's say here's an example of someone that may have like a disc bulge, right? So if I squeeze this guy, that's right here. <laughs> yeah, like this one. Squeeze this guy. This is an example of what happens when there's like a slight herniation 
and then there's actual bulging in the disc. So, so that this is like a muscle? It's not a muscle, so this is more like a nucleus, so like, think of like this water, oh, right? Okay. And then think of water and like this, this compression. It's like a and it has, yeah, like a yeah, exactly, exactly. It has, like, that, the water has nowhere to go, so it has to spread outward, right? Oh, so now you have, here you have, also have nerves that are coming out of the spinal column. So yeah. as that happens. This is a vertebra? Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is the vertebrae. Is the so these, yeah, these are the vertebrae, and you have the discs in, in, inside, so in the vertebral disc. And, the, and the, this is made out of like, uh, what kind of material is like you just told me? These? The discs. Oh, oh, the disc. So you have the disc. So obviously you have your the vertebrae. You have your bones, and then you have the disc itself, mm -hmm. which is more so a tissue or let's say watery substance. It's like, feel like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like the same as the lungs. Something like a wall, like it's flexible. Yeah, it, it is flexible. So exactly, yeah. So as these push on, it can move around a bit. But again, if there's any, say, there's any damage to it, and there's too much compression along the spine, then you'll have that bulge that starts to happen, and that bulge will now push onto the nerve, and that nerve is what signals the pain response in the body. Not everyone's gonna feel pain right away. Some people do have bulges and they don't feel pain. I mean, you can ask Dr. Monique; he's more of an expert on this than I am. But yes, yeah, so that is, that's typically what will happen. So with the aldoa postures, mm -hmm. uh, what we'll do is basically, say this is your bottom segment and this is your top segment. We fix the bottom segment and the top segment we work on elongating, so pulling upward. That helps to create more space, so it's not pushing down. If there is some compression, we pull upward, mm -hmm. create more space, allow water to hydrate. And in, in return, we're looking to just improve the health of the spine. So again, you'll start to meet with your chiropractor, in this case, you new, new chiropractor, um, get your adjustments, everything like that. So not gonna, we're not going to adjust the spine that way, but mm -hmm. we, these will help to hold. If you do have an adjustment with Dr. Amana, these will help to hold the adjustment a bit better. Mm -hmm. And then it also helps to make his adjustments a bit more, a bit better as well. Um, it will just get a better quality adjustment because he'll be able to manipulate his tissue a bit, a bit more. Okay. So you are a chiropractor also? No, I'm not a chiropractor. I'm actually a soma therapist. Oh, um, Yes, yeah, so I don't do I don't do like adjustments of the spine. Yeah. But I do pumping of the fascia, mm -hmm. which will help in turn improve the quality of the of the spine. Okay, so improve the quality of the tissue. So the fascial tissue, the connective tissue in the body, which will then make it easier for the spine to move. Mm -hmm. So then again, like once you get your adjustment from Dr. Amana, then it will become a lot easier for your spine to hold that adjustment and then a lot faster to get out of the pain if someone is in pain. Okay. And yeah, trust me, if you have any questions throughout, just ask me just as you're doing, okay? Oh, okay. Because right, right, now, right now I'm here for you, so because just ask me. Yeah, so for me now, it's for everybody. Yeah. But I don't want to take up much of the time. No, 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 it's fine. It's, no. it's all based on your Q&A, so yeah. the, more, the more questions you have, the better it is. Okay, yeah. so not a problem. Okay, great. Yeah. I always thought that this was warm, was hot, but now I, I discover it's not. The actual disc? Well, yeah, see I, that the... That was my idea, really. Yeah, the, verte the vertebrae is going to be hard. The disc will be a little softer than the vertebrae. The vertebrae is going to be a bone, so it's going to be softer yeah. in that case. No, yeah. But the actual, disc, the, the actual disc can be compressed, which is where a lot of people will start having issues along the spine. So there's too much compression. People start losing their proper curvature. You have, may have like sliding of the vertebrae, which then allows more mm -hmm. of like the disc to, let's say, protrude yeah. or out of, the, out of the actual vertebrae. Then, yes, then that's how that's where you get the issues along the spine. Yeah. yeah. And That's why it hurts so much. That's yeah, why I mean, people, yeah, mean? and some people have more pain than others. Mm -hmm. So some people may, you may have this much, right? Yeah. And it may not even be touching the nerve yet, but they may have pain. And, or then some people may have this going on, mm -hmm. and it's touching the nerve, and they may not feel it yet. So it also comes down to the person. Some people if just have person, more sensitivity. You touch, if you touch the nerve. That, that typically will signal pain to the body, to the brain, which will then signal to the body, and then that's when you go. That's when you want to go and see a doctor. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So and maybe sometimes it's too late. When it could it could be too late, but you know the goal is to hope that it's not too late and still work it's towards. It's fixable. Yeah, or you, you always want to think that it's fixable because if you think that it's too late, then there's most likely not going to be a chance yeah. that you're going to be able to recover just because mentally you've already given up. Mm, okay. Yeah. So fixable. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And again, you go, you go see your doctor. They'll mm -hmm. take your X-rays. They get you MRIs, and they can go over everything with you and let you know exactly what's going on with your spine. And then they can give you a process of how to rehabilitate it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it could be an adjustment. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully, it's not surgery. 
right? But whatever the case is, there will be a way to help bring yourself back to normal or at least get you get yourself out of pain. As long as, again, you get your adjustment and you do whatever homework you have <laughs> that needs to be done at home, okay? Yes. Yeah. So again, so now we go on to say talking about hydration and say water, food. So if we have, let's say, information in the body, it's going it's to cause stiffness along the fascia, so in the fascia. Okay, so now if we stick with the spine, uh -huh. there's ligaments, tendons all around the spine that help uh -huh. connect everything together, uh -huh. connect to the rest of the muscles in the body. Okay, mm -hmm. so if there's a lot of tension or inflammation, which will cause tension in the ligaments, it's going to be a lot harder for it to move. It's going to be really stiff. Okay, mm -hmm. so if we're not hydrating the body properly, if you're not drinking enough water and enough good quality water, then it's going to lead to, again, the stiffening, which will then lead to more compression, which will lead to more pressure, more, let's say, eventually pain, mm -hmm. and more like the higher likelihood that you're going to end up with some spinal issues. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have, you know, lower back, thoracic spine, so that's the middle of the back, you have the cervical spine, that's the neck, uh, mostly what Dr. Mana specializes in, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mostly the cervical spine, I know he focuses on the entire spine as well, um, mm -hmm. but the work he does with the cervical spine is like, is and like magic. And scoliosis. Yeah, scoliosis, um, and again, it's just, it's just different curves of the spine, scoliosis, like with the, with the aldoa postures or just taking care of your body, you, you can actually like, reverse your scoliosis if you follow like correct procedures. So again, go get your MRI, go see the doctor, find out is it functional, is it structural? Yeah. You know, so like, are, are you born with it? Is it something that you just developed over time just due to like posture, bad posture, bad pattern, movement patterns, uh, just bad habits, okay? Um, there's a lot, there's a ton of details on scoliosis and like how to, how to determine if someone has a structural or a functional scoliosis. So we just wanna make sure that you know exactly what's going on in your body, Yeah. get the proper help and then do your homework at the same time. Okay. Like a sort of therapy, like exercises. A combination of everything, right? So yeah. you have, say, so you have your treatment. So you have therapy. Let's say you have, maybe you have exercises. You have stretches. You have mobilizations. Yeah. Uh, you have your, you know, you have your warm. So if I was gonna give you an order, let's say you went and went to see your chiropractor. They did an adjustment. I actually have a, a few clients that go and see Dr. Amana. So they, they'll go see Dr. Amana. They'll get their adjustment. They'll come to me. After they, they've already gotten the adjustment, now it's time to hold the adjustment. Mm -hmm. So now they want to focus on, okay, how are we going to, what I'll do first, I'll do like a little bit of soma therapy on them. That will help mm -hmm. to, again, I was telling you with the information, if they had information that's causing a stiffness, the stiffening of the connective tissue. Mm -hmm. So now with the soma therapy, what we do is osteoticular pumping mm -hmm. of, the, of the fascia, so of the joints. Mm -hmm. And that, what that does is it allows more fluid to flow just into the fascia. Uh, fluid, in this case, mostly water we'll be talking about. We also have like cerebral spinal fluid. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, go ahead. No, no electrolytes. No sodium. Like potassium. in the water? In the water? Yeah, in the water. Yeah, you, well, you want to have minerals in the water? So you, you can have water with electrolytes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the water. electrolytes is the same as sodium or potassium? Yeah. That's, yeah, that, that's an example. That'll be an example of electrolytes. Yeah. That'll be an example. So like, what the water I like to drink is uh, Mountain Valley spring water. Uh -huh. uh, pretty good. Fuji? Fuji? Fiji's pretty good. Fiji, yeah, Fiji is pretty good. You want to look at the look at the pH level, and you also want to look at the dissolved mineral content. Yeah. So I know Mountain Valley Spring has about 220 dissolved minerals, but then I also add some Himalayan salt, which okay. just adds like just more minerals and to the to the water itself. Yeah, so it just brings better quality. It, it's the thing that they clean the aluminium. Mm -hmm. The aluminium that causes Alzheimer. So the food you say they have this thing, but actually. Um, wait, what, so what was your specific question? The Fuji. Yeah, Fuji. They, yeah, yeah. They, they, they have this property mm -hmm. that they say they, they cleave the aluminium. They have one metal. Fuji is very rich in some metal. I don't know the exact name now. I don't know off the top of my head. I can't remember. Maybe someone will talk about it. Yeah. Next time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Definitely next time. Next time I'll, 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 uh, I'll bring a couple of samples of water actually next time we get to talk about some hydration and those, the different types of water. and which ones are better for you. And again, everyone's body's a little different, so it comes down to you just trying trying different ones and seeing which ones fit best for you. Mm -hmm. Whichever honestly, like whichever one you can drink, whichever one is good for you to drink, it's probably the best one for you to have, because mm -hmm. you're actually gonna drink it. Mm -hmm. If you have one that might be better quality that but you don't want to actually drink it, then it doesn't serve any purpose for you. Right. Okay. So yeah. the same same thing with food, mm -hmm. um, same thing with exercise. Mm -hmm. If you have like excess program that you don't like you don't like and it's not fun for you. 
and you don't want to do it, you're most likely not going to do it, then you're not going to get any benefit. No, so that's, that's what it comes down to just like personalized programs, which is part of what I do as well. Just personalize them, access programs, mm -hmm. make sure that the client can actually adhere to it. Mm -hmm. it Whether it be time allotted, it could be an hour, it could be 30 minutes, it could be 15 minutes, depends on what, a, what the client can do realistically mm -hmm. and consistently. Yeah. I can take it. They, yeah, whatever they can do realistically and consistently, then mm -hmm. that's what you want to focus on. Mm -hmm. You don't want to focus on just giving everyone the same routine because whether it be nutrition or let's say dieting or uh, let's say exercise, you don't want to give someone a whole the same routine because not everyone's going to adhere to the same thing. So you have to find out what works for each person. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, and then again, not everyone's going to have the same amount of time. And, and that's the name of your center. Yeah, the uh, yeah, Wallace. the Common Wallace. Yeah, yeah, that's my uh, that's the business that I, that I have, mm -hmm. uh, and my friend Jose works with me as well. No, good. <laughs> but I know you had to know him pretty well. Good guy. <laughs> From the good. smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have uh, another specific question? Or? No, no, please walk it. Okay. Too yeah, walk. sure. Okay, so we're talking about inflammation. We're talking about, again, hydration. So by drinking enough water and then also us doing the somatherapy, which will now allow, we do the pumping of the osteoarticular um, joints, right? Mm -hmm. So we do the pumping of the joints in the body. Mm -hmm. That then helps to hydrate the fascia which would then make everything a lot easier to move in the body. So all the, the joints in the body would be a lot easier to move. And then now if you take it directly to the spine, you have this segment or I'll show this one for example. So same, same model. This would just be part of, let's say the lumbar spine. Yeah, the lower, so this would be more like the lower back region. So it's like color coded. Yeah. yeah. So you have like the middle back, you have the neck, you have the lumbar spine, the lower back, then you have your sacrum, and at the end you have your coccyx, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, someone has, let's say, a bulge, like I showed you here, some kind of this bulge going on, let's say, at L2, right mm -hmm. between L2 and L3. Mm -hmm. The goal is with the aldoa, and again, hydrating the body, making the fascia a little easier, a little more, let's say, lubricated, easier to move now. Now, when you do your aldoa, you keep, this point is fixed. This is supposed to be an L3 segment. You take L2, you're going to pull it up. Now, remember again, it's, it's lubricated now, easier to move. So now this space becomes a lot bigger, mm -hmm. allows water to get into that space mm -hmm. to hydrate the disc and again, to make it, make it healthier. So now by hydrating the disc, give it a little more height. Okay. And by giving it a little more height, now when